What is going on guys? I am Laserboard and welcome to another DMC guide. Today we're going to be talking about what you definitely, definitely should pick up before the season ends. I know you guys are excited. Season 4 is almost here. But guys, we still have Season 3 and you might be missing some items and you definitely don't want to be like everybody was in Season 1 trying to get the Rose skin in Season 2 when it became completely apparent that you weren't able to get it anymore because the season was over. So I'm going to give you guys what I believe to be the ones that you definitely do not want to miss out on and want to make sure you pick up before they become very rare and you don't have them in your inventory. So we're, the cool thing is that some of these factions, you don't really have to grind them too much all the way to tier five. So that's a good thing. And if you guys need help completing any of these and catching up, make sure you catch us live on stream. We stream every day. Links to Twitch and links to YouTube are down below. So with that being said, guys, let's start off with the first one, which is the Redacted Mission. And that is going to have you completing Tier 2 Storyline. And that's going to give you a very awesome reward. It has the hand grabbing the thing right there. I think it's one of the nice re little rewards. Highly recommended. I think it's going to become super rare. If you, no, you know, not a lot of people are going to have it if they didn't finish their Redacted Missions. Staying on Redacted, guys, the next one is going to be completing the Tier 3 Story Mission, giving you the War Shadow skin. For your character so this skin might not be super rare but a lot of people if they didn't play dmz they are not going to have this uh, this skin so i would highly recommend you guys definitely pick that up overall in general those are the two main objects that i would recommend you guys pick up for redacted with that being said let's go ahead move on over to white lotus now for white lotus guys it's super interesting because there isn't really that much to discuss it from the only thing i could probably recommend here guys is if you do the whole story mission to tier three you're going to be getting the sleet skin now that's definitely one of the best skins out there and i would highly recommend you guys definitely pick it up because it does look really 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 clean and i'm pretty sure right now you won't see it on that many operators but I'm sure as season four rolls out, a lot of people are going to be wearing this because not a lot of people are going to have this one. And that is White Lotus tier three story mission. So I would highly recommend you guys definitely try to pick it up. Now, with that being said, guys, let's go to Legion. For Legion, guys, we have some really interesting one. We have the one that you're going to be able to call Grunt Work. This is definitely what I call the bot skin because it does look like a bot, but it's going to be super rare because not a lot of people are going to have this one in particular due to the fact that they are not going to be able to rock it as often as they possibly can because they haven't completed Legion, right? So that's the main one. The other thing I could probably recommend as a reward is the Loyalty Emblem. And this one right here, or Loyalty Calling Card, really cool calling card. This is going to be a Tier 5 mission, uh, which is going to have you do a thing called Clean Sweep. So I don't think a lot of people have that one because this is extract nine enemy dog techs from building 21 in one deployment. So that loyalty one might be very highly sought off, but that's going to be a mission for a tier five. If you want to do Legion, I don't think a lot of people are going to be rocking that one. Next up and last for Black Moose, we're going to be talking about one that I recommend is definitely this one right here, guys, which is the Macro Burst. There's a tier three story mission. So you only got to grind this to tier three story and you'll be able to get this Macro Burst. I don't think a lot of people actually have that one. So I would highly recommend you do pick that up. The next one I want to recommend is a tier four story mission, which is a, uh, it's a gun charm that you're able to pick. It has like a little nuke falling down. Looks really clean on the gun, and I would definitely recommend you definitely pick this one up. So that one's going to be super rare because this is another Building 21 mission, and I know a lot of people don't really do Building 21 that much, so that's going to be a super rare. Now on to the one that I think is going to be the rarest of them all, and this actually has three really good ones. That's the Crown Faction mission. So if you don't have Crown and you plan on keep playing uh, Call of Duty and you do pick it up because it's on sale, you might want to do these Crown missions and get there as quickly as you possibly can because he has some really good rewards. So the first reward is the tier two story mission, which is the uh, skin for the sea dude. So really, really cool looking skin. It's black and purple. Very nice design. Highly recommended. And you guys should definitely be picking that up. And next but not least, guys, we have the one called the Foxtrot. This is a skin operator skin. One of the coolest skin. This is like the, I would say the base model for the Nick Merck skin. So if you don't have the Nick Merck skin and you like Nick Merck's, you could probably get this one. Uh, free paid version of the nick mark skin because it does look very similar to it definitely go ahead and pick up the fox shot really recommend it but the main reason you're trying to do these particular missions the main reason you're trying to get this accomplished 
and you do not want to miss out on these guys is because of the hazardous blueprint. The hazardous blueprint is one of the most cleanest, nicest looking blueprints for any weapon you could possibly get. Not only is the gun really good, the M13, it's good in multiplayer, good, you know, pretty much good in everywhere, but it is one of the most rarest blueprints that you will probably find in all the game. Not too many people are going to be having this blueprint, so I highly recommend you guys definitely do go ahead and try to grind it out because it does look really, really dope. The last one, guys, is I want to recommend is another tier four, uh, tier five mission called All Is Fair. And this is killing the bomb maker with the claimer. This is going to give you a nice little emblem that you can rock. And it has called Battle Face, which looks really, really dope. Don't think a lot of people have that one or will have that one because a lot of people haven't grinded their crown. Now, another thing that we think that will be getting reset as well, guys, is the ability of being able to get the heated madness weapon once again from the complex. This might be a season three only item. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you guys get the heated madness blueprint as quickly as you possibly can. Once again, we're helping on live stream. In addition to that, we think that the gun screen and anything that you're able to get from the shopkeeper to right now might also be locked within the se season. That's counting the uh, gun screen. That's counting the calling card. And that is also counting the emblem. So if you guys haven't been able to get the emblem, the calling card, the gun screen, or the heated man is, guys, we're going to be helping live on stream every single day. Remember, you got 12 days. Now is the time to actually get these items as quickly as you possibly can. Because we don't know, they might disappear and might become one of the, if not one of the rarest items currently right now in the game. But overall, general, guys, these are the items you definitely do not want to miss on. Highly recommend you guys get them as quickly as you possibly can. Remember, we still got 12 days left. Make sure you get these items ASAP. With that being said, guys, if you need help getting these items, make sure you stop by our live stream. We stream every day. Links are down below. I will see you over there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.